Hey guys, I'm House, and today we're going to be talking about the PTS foam dummy plates. Now, PTS, uh, obviously, most people watching this are probably gonna know who PTS are. Uh, they make a lot of training and simulation products for the airsoft market, whether those be uh, rifle accessories that are either airsoft spec versions of real deal rifle accessories, or they make uh, airsoft spec slides for you know G series pistols that are replicas of real uh, real slides. And one of their products that they started offering, I think in the past like year and a half maybe, are these foam plates that they call, I think they call them just their dummy sappy plates. Now, what these are is they are exactly what it sounds like. They are foam, soft, flexible, foam, sappy plates. And the point is you're supposed to use these in a plate carrier for airsoft purposes, as opposed to you know going out and either buying real plates to put in an airsoft plate carrier, or having the weight of a set of training plates for your plate carrier for airsoft and milsim use. Just because in airsoft in general, actually having plates doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because, well, they offer no benefit of hit anywhere is still a hit. You know, you're not gonna be saving your in-game BB Wars life because you got hit in a plate instead of in anywhere else. Now, Milson West has their own body armor rules, but those are dependent on weight. So these, for most gameplay, are going to be your solution for having something that maintains the shape and rigidity of your plate carrier, but still allows you to be soft, flexible, and comfortable in that plate carrier without having the weight and rigidity of other plate options. So to start, uh, what are the advantages of these over some of the other fake plate options on the market? Well, for one, they are very flexible and soft and bendable, but they're elastic and they main, well, elastic as in they memorize their shape, so they do return to shape. So what that means is basically when you're wearing a plate carrier with these in them, you basically are just wearing a giant pad. And it's kind of nice because if you've ever worn a plate carrier with you know some of the other fake and training plate options, you know that when you start bending and moving on the field, that can start jabbing you or restricting your movement or it can start uh, restricting your breathing if you don't have your plate carrier adjusted properly. And uh, that just isn't as comfortable as just having these soft foam pads in there that still give you that plate carrier real estate and give you the plate carrier look because let's face it, Airsoft is LARP, and if you're wearing a plate carrier for Airsoft as opposed to just a chest rig, you're probably doing it because you think the plate carrier is cool. So this lets you wear a plate carrier essentially without any real penalty in terms of movement or comfort. And that is where I think these shine. So I've worn these foam plates uh, in a couple of games locally and also at a couple of national games. I wore these for Gladio and I wore these for Faded Giant. Uh, and that was where I really thought that their comfort excelled was when you're going to be wearing that vest or that plate carrier for hours and hours on end and you don't necessarily want to have something that's going to be, you know, just doing nothing but trapping heat and jabbing you when you try to move. These were very comfortable. I bet, I mean, I can tell you right now, if they had plates that were actually level three plus <laughs> ballistic and they could move like this, you bet those would sell like hotcakes, but they don't. And this being BB Wars, these only exist to give you that shape. And they do that very well. You know, the plate carrier doesn't sag, it doesn't move around, it doesn't jostle, but it still moves with you when you're actually, you know, shouldering your rifle, uh, doing anything crazy like repelling, or when you're moving around and bending around corners. It does still move with you, and that is very nice. I like this a lot better than those plastic or hard foam training plates just for that fact alone because again there's no benefit to having non-ballistic plates in airsoft and there's no benefit to having plates in most games at all period so if you can buy the most comfortable plates then you're further ahead to just do that the other nice thing about these is that they do come in different sizes as you can see here i have the large size because for me a large size plate is about the right size, maybe even a little small. Uh, XL size plates, they offer better coverage for me, but they start restricting my movement just a little bit, so I go with the large size. And a lot of dummy plates, they don't even come in different sizes. Uh, now, I know LBX, and I wanna say some of the toy soldier plates you can find in large, but a lot of places don't carry them and it can be kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, whereas the PTS plates come in small, medium, and large. 
Uh, what kind of sucks is that there's a big price difference between those, but when you're talking about the price that these come in at, it's really not that bad. The small ones come in at about $21, the mediums come in at about $25, and the larges come in at about $30. So it does kind of suck that you pay $30 for this set of fake plates, but these are really durable and I don't think you're ever going to have to replace them. And when you compare them to, again, some of the other fake plate options on the market, I think you're getting a more comfortable product and a little bit of a more kind of just put together product for that price point. So I really can't complain that much. It just, it'd be nicer if they were a little cheaper, so it'd be easier for me to buy one for every plate carrier. but. You know, beggars can't be choosers. Now, for those of you curious on the accuracy of the sizing of the plates, uh, these are, from the best I can tell, comparing them to the real sappy plates I've handled, these are pretty much 100% spot on in terms of the sizing. And to test that, I have here my Cry JPC in size large. For those of you who don't know, JPCs are sized according to the plate bag size. So if I take this sappy plate and I stuff it into here, well the fake sappy plate, excuse me, and I stuff it into the plate pocket. It's a tight fit as it's supposed to be and it's especially kind of hard to just jam it in there because the plate is flexible, but once I get it in there I can close it up as you normally would with any other plate and it fills out the plate pocket perfectly. So I've got the corners of the plates match up in the right spots. It's no gaps or dead space. It's a perfect fit for a large size sappy plate pocket. So the plates, and as you can see now, I've got the shape maintained without any real effort on my part for you know keeping the plate bag up. And it is still flexible, so when I put it on, I will have that little bit of movement. So that's where I think these PTS plates shine, is in letting you wear your plate carrier for all your LARP cred without having any of the plate carrier problems of, you know, discomfort or anything like that. So yeah, I mean, if you want actual realism, there are plenty of heavyweight training plate options out there from, say, uh, Warrior Trail or Team Wendy, but if you're just looking for something to give you that look and to make your vest more comfortable to wear and keep your pouches from flopping around, then I think PTS has you covered. Um, my biggest criticism would just be that I wish they made an XL size for guys who need an XL size plate because there are really no options for training size plates in XL. I know that because back when I was really, really fat, I I used to wear an XL plate and they don't have XL plate options very much at all. So if PTS or somebody could make some XL plate options for the bigger airsofters out there who need them, that would probably be great. But aside from that, talk about the actual product itself. The PTS training plates come highly recommended. I really like them. I think they're a great choice. Again, if you just want a plate that gives you the look and gives you the comfort, these are the best in my opinion for that role. So anyways, uh, this is E-House from Gun Gamers talking about the PTS training plates, signing off.